Hi, everyone, and welcome to the final day, day 31 of my 31 horror movies in 31 days of May series. Um, so to finish off the month, this 31 horror movie series, I thought I would again review one of my favorite subgenres of horror, and that is horror anthology movies. I have a large collection. So I pulled out um, one that I haven't seen before, and that is Chilling Visions. Five Senses of Fear that I have on Blu-ray here. Um, I purchased this off of eBay. Can't remember how much it was for. It wasn't a lot, um, but it is on Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and um, kind of get into the um, the movie, the, the premise of it and the stories, and then I'll give you my thoughts and review on it. So uh, Chilling Visions, Five Senses of Fear is a 2013 horror anthology film that was directed by a variety of directors. They each took a story. Eric England, Nick Everhart, Emily Higgins, Miko Hughes, um, Je Jesse Holland, and Andy Mitten. So this, uh, this anthology series was actually originally broadcast on the Chiller Network on May 31st, 2013 and was released on the DVD and Blu-ray October 22nd that same year. So I, it actually wasn't a theater. It wasn't released at the box office or the movie theater, I don't believe. So So the first story, um, by the way, I should mention that I tend to like horror anthologies that have like a, a connecting story or like a, a wraparound story. This one really doesn't. The only thing that sort of that links them together is the mysterious company watershed. Um, a company that has sinister intentions, which I guess in a way is kind of a, it's kind of cool that they made that link there. But um, yeah, that's, that's sort of the, like I said, not, there's no framing story or anything. There's just the five shorts, but that's the link that they have, I guess, is that sinister company watershed. So the first story that we have is called Smell, and this one's directed by Nick Everhart. And it basically follows a depressed man by the name of Seth. He's in a job that he doesn't like. Um, he's despondent over a recent breakup he's had that's caused him to neglect himself. And mysteriously, this sales lady shows up at the door and offers him this life-changing cologne. Um, so he ends up taking her up on her offer. And uh, she does warn him not to use too much of it, though. And it makes a difference for him. Um, you know, he's... He's getting a lot of attention from the ladies and he's getting he's getting promotions at his job and all kinds of stuff. But of course it has side effects because this is a horror anthology. Um I won't go into too much more than that. Um but the cologne does have side effects, so yeah, you could probably guess what happens. Um the next story is called C. This one was directed by Miko Hughes, and Miko Hughes is actually the kid from Pet Cemetery. From 1989, the original one, not the not the uh, not the remake. Um, this follows Doctor Tom, an optometrist that is able to see through the eyes of his patients. Um, it's initially fun for him until he discovers that one of his patients is um, a victim of domestic abuse, and so he tries to he tries to um, basically teach her boyfriend that's abusing her a lesson and bring them in and uh, tries to uh, basically instill like um, disturbing images to him and um, sort of hellish visions, I guess. And um, so, yeah, I won't say too much more. That's kind of where the story goes from here. The third one is Touch, which is directed by Emily Higgins. This is the young, this is one about a young blind boy. Um, that has to go searching for help when they're when his parents are wounded in a car accident. Um, and in his desperation, he comes across maybe the wrong person. I'll just leave it at that. Um, a person that's that has an aversion to being touched. So that's kind of as much as I can give on that one. And then Taste, directed by Eric England, is centered upon Aaron, a hacker that finds himself at a large corporate building at the bequest of a businesswoman named Lacey. Um, and she has she has an offer for him, and uh, kind of things happen. So, and then listen is the final one. This is a found footage short that follows two men of making a movie about listening to this song called "My Children" or "Listen, My Children," a song that has the ability to kill people, basically. Um, 
So yeah, I won't go into too much more than that. It's hard to get. It's hard with these anthology films because, especially shorts like this, the more shorts you have, the less you can really give away. Otherwise, you'll give away the whole, the whole thing. So those are the setups. As far as my thoughts um, and review on it, I I hadn't seen this before. I think it's a pretty a pretty good, pretty okay anthology film. Um, like I said, five stories that are. That are only linked by the company Watershed. Um, I do like this this picture here with the. And they actually use that at the beginning of each short too. Um, I, I of the five stories, I would say my favorite one is probably is probably Taste. That's the one where the with the hacker that finds himself at a large building at the bequest of the Lacey, who's played by Simba Smith. Who wants to offer him a a position um, that he's not too sure why he's there? That one's just good because it has a lot of um, creepy atmosphere and and suspenseful build up, and then also some some good gore um, as the short goes on. So that one I thought was the was my favorite. I don't know if it's the best or not, but I thought it was well directed by Eric England. Um, my least favorite was probably the last one, Listen, and part of that's the fact that I'm just not a big fan of uh, found footage. I think it might be a generational thing. I'm not sure. There's two movies that I like that are found footage movies, Hell House and The Blair Witch Project. Every every other one I've seen is kind of meh. And this one I feel that way because it's like the the whole short is like broken. Both the picture and the sound are like in and out all the time. It's just annoying to me. So... Plus, it was kind of, I don't know, it was kind of a simple premise, a song that if you listen to it, people basically go insane and kill themselves. I don't know. It's It was okay. Um, that's the thing about this anthology that doesn't make it bad is all five of these shorts are at least okay. They're watchable. None of them are terrible or garbage. None of, but I'll also say none of them are particularly like exceptional either. They're all, it's just a, like a pretty even keel anthology series, in my opinion. And like I said, if I had to rank them, I would say taste is one. C, uh, actually, I would say smell is two. C is three. Touch is four. And then listen is five. I thought all the directors did a good job. Obviously, it's a low budget anthology film. So they didn't have not huge production budgets or anything. Um, but I thought the direction, the directing was good. The acting. I thought that the acting was good, especially in, um, well, yeah, I would say taste. I thought the acting was pretty good. The rest of them, it's just kind of hit or miss, depending on the actor. Um, but yeah, they're they're like I said, they're all watchable. They're fun. None of them are particularly scary, but there is some gore involved, some blood and gore. Um, some there's some interesting stories, especially to see and smell, and taste. I think those three have the most interesting premises. Uh, not so much for touch and listen. They're just kind of, they feel more like fillers to me, even though I think that Emily Hagens did do a, a good job directing touch. It's just not a story that really stuck out to me as much. So, yeah, overall, this is a good anthology a series or movie that I would um, recommend checking out. Um, it's from 2013, like I said, on the Chiller Network it was released, not in the theater. So a lot of people probably aren't even aware of it. I would give it a 7 out of 10 on my horror uh, rating, especially for anthology movie rating. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. Um, again, it's worth checking out. None of the, All five stories are pretty even keel. You don't have that great, bad, great, you know, it's more like this. So... So yeah, that's Chilling Visions, Five Cents of Fear from 2013, my review on that. And that concludes my 31 Horror Movies in 31 Days of May series. Thank you for watching and for liking the, the, the reviews, the videos, subscribing to my channel. Um, I do want to mention that starting over the next four months, I will be watching, reviewing, and ranking all four of the major horror franchises. I'll be starting with Child's Play, all eight movies, including the remake, here this month of June. So even later this week, I'll have the review on the very first Child's Play from 1988. And then the last few days, probably like the last five days of each of the months, I'll be doing a ranking of all the movies that include the remake. So Child's Play for June, Nightmare on Elm Street for July, 
um, Friday the 13th for August, and then the Halloween uh, franchise for the month of September. And then in October, of course, which is the month of Halloween, I'll be doing another 31 horror movie series uh, like I did for May. So that's what I got coming up. Please, uh, please like, uh, please like and comment on this video if um, what your thoughts were on Chilling Visions, if you've seen it, or if you have any questions about seeing it, please subscribe to my channel to see these upcoming reviews and rankings on the four major horror franchises, as well as other videos. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.